Well, this is a surprise. Welcome, Kirby! <laughs> so, what brings you on the show to- Remember, you, you forgot my birthday! Huh? What are you talking about? I just turned 30, you forget how could you? Hey, I've been planning this for quite- You take way too long to bring out videos! See, now I have to tell you the whole story. Sometime last year. First of all, I was pretty excited about your birthday. So this was kind of a given to get this model. So when I got it, I had a really, really cool idea. And then I held the box in the air for like 20 minutes. And then I decided to do a little extra and order the Super Game Boy and the Japanese version of Kirby. Do you know gaming is expensive nowadays? Come on. And then, after all of that effort, Nintendo decides to put the Game Boy library on the Nintendo Switch. How could you? So as you can see, I've been extremely busy. Okay, fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing with that star rod? Wait a minute. You want me to build this one as well, huh? Yes. Hello world, on today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the Nanoblock Kirby 30th. This is a part of the Nanoblock character collection. It has 220 pieces and has a 2 out of 5 difficulty level. I really love the way that they incorporated Kirby's history on the box. I just wish they didn't put that 12 plus sticker on top. Everything that you see right here is included inside the box, except for that Kirby. But wait, there's more! In this episode, I'll also be building the Nanoblock Kirby's Dreamland. It's a part of the Sites of Sea series. It has 400 pieces and it's a 3 out of 5 difficulty. It's definitely worth mentioning that this set only includes Kirby, a smaller tree, and wispy woods. And if you're looking to add to this set, the Kirby Mini Nano series Volume 1 and 2 are sold separately. Everything you see right here is everything that's included inside of the box. Okay, let's build up! Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, here's both Kirby and Dreamland completed. Because I built a couple of models this time around, let's move Dreamland out of the way and let's talk about this model first, Kirby. First and foremost, I'll say that models like Kirby here is why I enjoy building nanoblocks so much. He was extremely fun to put together and I can't stress this enough. This little guy is freaking adorable. Seriously, look at him, come on, he's too stinking cute. <laughs> He's over here all carefree on his little star, just having all kinds of fun. I mean, you can see the cuteness for yourself, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Moving along, this guy was very, very fun to put together. I did swap out a piece to improve on the look though. Right here, I swapped this standard 2x1 brick for a flat piece on the top of his hand here. I figure I might as well close it off since he's not holding anything in his hand. Here's what it would have looked like if I didn't change it. Does it make a difference? Let me know in the comments what you think. This model came packaged with a Kirby 30th Anniversary sticker to place on his back. I'm not an expert on applying decals of any kind, so I'm glad that I was able to get this on without any problems. You only get one, so handle with care. It wasn't actually shown on the box, but I was surprised at what you actually build as a stand for Kirby. Kirby's star sits on a 2x2 block with a ball joint, but wait until you see what the stand is. It's a star! How cool is that? 
I think this is a really cool stand for Kirby. It really brings the whole piece together, no doubt. The 2x2 block fits right here on these two studs. But while you have the freedom to move this in whatever way you'd like, I recommend leaving it tilted back. In my opinion, because it sits on two studs, it might end up falling over due to the weight. Since I actually built many Nano Kirby models in the last season, I figured this would be a good time to compare the two models. Even though Kirby on the left is sitting, you can already tell how much bigger he is in comparison to the mini Nano Kirby. Also, these things are stinking cute! Cuteness overload! It's too cute. <laughs> last but not least, Kirby's Dreamland. This is simply based off the first stage of Kirby's Dreamland called Green Greens. This is a very well put together set. Building it was fun, but I feel like it's missing something. In the box, it comes packaged with Wispy Woods, another tree, and Kirby on his star, which looks fine as is, don't get me wrong. Maybe they could have added a few apples on the ground or maybe a bush, but that's just me. The Mini Nano Kirby series will further complete this set, but you'll have to buy them either separately or get the complete boxes. In my opinion, I wouldn't recommend anything less than a complete box, otherwise you're taking a gamble on blind bags. I'm gonna take Kirby off for a moment and talk about the green greens first. These trees are pretty much the backdrop of this whole set and they look awesome. But there's one gripe that I have with Wispy Woods, and that's the fact that I couldn't figure out how to get the roots to cover a single stud right here. It might take me some experimenting to figure it out, but I'm certain that it shouldn't be exposed like it is. I've tried shifting pieces around, and this is the only conclusion that I could reach at this moment. Even in the instructions it's covered, but it might just be me. Just keep this in mind if you ever build one. Compared to the 30th anniversary version, this Kirby is much smaller and simpler in design, but still keeps all of the important details. That alone is what makes the Nanoblock Mini Nano line so special. Even with Kirby's star, it's simple yet effective. Because this is a set that you can add characters to, Kawada was very generous with clear 2x1 blocks giving you freedom to create your own scenes. Here are a few examples. Overall, this is a pretty cool set. Despite not being able to cover the one stud, everything else is pretty much great. As is, it looks fine, but you might want to get the rest of those characters to really bring it out. And that's all the time we have for today's episode of Jumang by Builds. I'll catch you on the next one. In the meantime, keep on building. See you next time.